Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Lenovo ThinkPad i7. It's looking pretty nice. I mean like brand new, apart from the fact that thing is missing. And I seen probably someone open, but check here the back cover and uh, the SIM card tray is missing. Yeah, even here. So uh, we have to repair this. This is a customer job. Let's check the customer email. So the customer is saying Lenovo P16 S Gen 2. Laptop no switching on. When connecting the charging cable, no light next to the charging port, but next to the power button has an orange light. Nothing happens when I uh, when the power button is pressed. So. So basically, this laptop is kind of dead. Before we are opening the laptop, let's plug a charger and see what it's doing. USB-C, the meter it is coming on. And we have like 5 volts and no current, you can see, and that's not normal, it should be 19 volts. So the PD controller is not speaking with the charger for some reason. I will say let's open the laptop and have a look inside. And the laptop, it's open. Yeah, that's a nice motherboard. So we have a dedicated uh, GPU chip here. Let me zoom. So what we are checking first? First, because the battery is plugged in, let's check the voltage on the main power rail. So the main power rail, probably here we have the CPU power supplies and here we have some capacitors. And the main power rail is zero volts. Okay, what about short? The main power rail is shorted. That's the reason why we don't have voltage from the battery. So main power rail. Main power rail is not shorted, yeah? So we have no short here. Good. Can be a charging port issue? Can be. But we have two USB-C ports here. The other port, same, 5 volts. This one saying 5 volts. Okay, in order to figure it out if the things at least looking good, yeah, we should have the 5 volts on the main power rail. At least we should have 5 volts. And on the main power rail, we have 12, 12.4, so it's even better. So uh, the power supply, uh, the power supply which is creating the main power rail has like, can buck and bust. You can see here it can boost the, the voltage to 12 volts. So we have 12 volts. And that's fine. 12.4. 12 point, 12 point, 12 and the battery has 15.4. Okay, that can explain why it's not charging the battery. But the question is still there. The battery is good. Hmm. Let's see. Let's lower the voltage. And let's lower the current a little bit. Good. And here we have the plus of the battery. But this battery is strange. Yeah, I can't see. Oh, lol. The motherboard looks like has some liquid damage. Check the, the marks, the white marks. Anyway, I will call my current here, and the battery is taking no current at all, nothing. Let me check that, nothing, zero. But still, why the laptop is not working? I mean, check check around the, the, BQ, the BQ pins. You can clearly see here was some liquid damage, you can see. But the BQ chip it is working and it's doing the job. Well, it's strange because the customer hasn't said anything about liquid damage. Okay, on this point, uh, I will stop here. Uh, let's try to check the coils. So, uh, in order for the PD controller to be working, the PD controller has to be good. Yeah? And the second, the EC chip has to be good. And obviously, it has to be powered and uh, being able to speak with the PD controller. 
So this coil is fine. This one is fine. This one is fine. Probably here are the GPU power supplies, yeah, most likely. This one, 163 ohms, is fine. This one probably is the coil which is creating the main power rail, most likely. So everything is looking good. Here we have a coil, and that one is good. Yeah, here you have the RAM memory, onboard RAM. So everything is looking good. Wait, here is something, here is something missing, check here, let's check. What is that, that clearly something is missing from here, and what is missing is actually a coil. I mean, how a coil can miss from a laptop? Oh, any idea? Let's check with ground. So this one is fine. This one is fine. How a coil can miss? So probably this driver is creating a power rail with this coil. Coil which is missing. Let me plug the charger and check the voltage. So the charger is plugged. And here you have like 6 volts. Low. So actually this is meant to work. Here you have 0. Probably that's the output of the power supply. Yeah. And the input of the power supply is 12.4. So 12.4 and here on the middle of the MOSFETs we have 6 volts. Which, which means this power supply not only is good, but should provide voltage without the laptop being, uh, being on. Okay, this is kind of unexpected, but we need to put a coil there. Okay, let me quickly find a coil. Yeah, you're right, basically any coil, it will do the job. Yeah, so let's remove this coil. And when, when I'm saying every coil, it will do the job, is the power supply, it will work 100%. But it is possible the efficiency of the power supply to be different, yeah? So it doesn't mean if you use a different coil, the power supply it will not work. I can use a wire and the power supply it will still work. I can make like a coil from a wire and the power supply should work. But of course with uh, different efficiency. Now how can I solder this coil? I mean those are metals and it's good, but here is plastic. Yeah, like that. And the coil is soldered. Perfect. Okay, now we have a coil there. Let me cool down the area quickly. Remember the electronics and heat are not friends, yeah? So the coil has no problem with the heat. I mean, yeah, again, the efficiency will be, will be different if the coil is hot. But there it's a chip, which has a limit, probably around 150 degrees. And after 150, you know, it will get burned. So yeah, that's why we are cooling the board. Good, so the board is fine. Plug in the charger. The charger is plugged in. And the fan is spinning. That's crazy. Check here. The fan is spinning and we have 19 volts. You can't see. 19 volts with 4.3 amp, which means the battery is charging fine and the laptop is on. I mean, that's crazy. What a fault. How a coil can miss from a laptop? I mean, here is Lenovo, and we've seen before the components are falling from the board. But till now, I know about MOSFETs falling from the board, but not coils. 
The fan is still spinning, but probably the BIOS is reset, so we have to wait a little bit. Let's wait. Insane. Insane fault. I mean, hopefully it will work. The CPU is warm. But no picture, huh? The fan is still spinning. The screen is connected, I can see it. But how can be no picture? The laptop is taking 4.7 amps. We have picture! <laughs> That's crazy. So actually the laptop is good. The only problem was the missing coil. Yeah, we do have a SSD inside. Let's wait. Uh, escape to continue. And it's loading the windows. Okay, if you ask me what that power supply is doing, I'm curious. Probably 3.3 volts power supply. Let's see. So that power supply has, no, 5 volts. 5 volts. So without 5 volts, you will have your PD controller not working. And yeah, basically a laptop, the laptop it will be dead. Yeah, it's working fine. Charging fine. We do have the charging sign there. Uh, the board is taking like 4 amps. All good. That was the only issue. What I think happened, I think someone opened the laptop. And uh, it's not only the screws, it actually has some clamps, the back cover. So someone sticks something to lift the back cover and in that moment probably knock out the coil. I can't see any coil here around, so probably the coil fell down. Yeah, but why you lock on a laptop like this? Probably to swap the empty drive or to clean the fan? I mean, check here. Here is just empty space. Why they are cheap? I mean, if this, you know, it's, it's supposed to be expensive laptop. You have space here. Just use like more metal. Using more metal, it will create a buffer. So the fan, I mean, the computer not only has more surface to dissipate the heat, but acting as a buffer, the fan doesn't have to start and stop so uh, so often. For me, it's, you know, I, I can't understand. I mean, I'm using whatever I can to have like a big heat sink, like a bigger heat sink. But here, despite the fact you have space to use like a, yeah, probably because of the cost, yeah, but it's no cost from the company because obviously whatever is in the laptop, the customer is paying, right? Well, how much the, the price of the laptop, uh, it will be higher if you have like a big hit in here. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe I'm too old, but I can't understand, you know, some things. Probably that's the idea, because having better cooling on electronic components does mean the product life, it will be longer. Anyway, the laptop is working fine. I left the laptop on. Yeah, it's still on, charging fine. I'm plugging the power. And yeah, the battery is like, has a green thingy, but the laptop, it is staying on. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna stop now. The coil is here, yeah, it's cold. I will say uh, thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button, and you can get instantly access to our uh, members-only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store, or our Patreon page. Thank you.